Welcome to the video I've entitled A Much Too Quick Overview of the Life and Ideas of Martin Heidegger, Structured Around the Issues of Being in the World, Dasein, The Distinction Between Readiness to Hand and Presentness at Hand, Ontology, Hermeneutics, Authenticity, Language, and the Question of Being. This video was written and produced and is presented by me, Andrew Chapman. Martin Heidegger was a German philosopher who made significant contributions to the fields of ontology, hermeneutics, and existentialism. His work continues to have a profound influence on philosophy, and his ideas have had a significant impact on a wide range of intellectual and cultural fields. A quick note on Heideggerian terminology. Heidegger makes the distinction between beings with a lowercase b and being with an uppercase b. Beings, lowercase b, are particular things that can be thought about or interacted with. Tables, chairs, dogs, humans, rocks, Santa Claus, numbers, relations, etc. are all beings. Note that something can be non-existent and still be a being. If we're able to think about it, if we're able to talk about it, if we're able to make sense of it, then it's a being with a lowercase b. Being, with a capital B, is what makes beings, lowercase b, the types of things that they are and makes them show up in the world in the way that they do. Beings, lowercase b, are the beings they are because of their being, uppercase b. Heidegger's concept of being in the world is central to his philosophy. Heidegger believed that human beings are not isolated entities, but are instead part of a larger, interconnected world. Being in the world is a fundamental aspect of human existence and is characterized by the ways in which we engage with the world around us. Heidegger argued that we cannot understand human existence without understanding being in the world. Heidegger's term Dasein refers to human existence and the unique way in which human beings experience the world. Heidegger believed that Dasein is characterized by its self-awareness and its ability to reflect on its own existence. Heidegger argued that human beings are not simply objects in the world, but are instead active participants who create meaning and shape the world around them. Heidegger believed that understanding Dasein is essential to understanding the nature of human existence. One of Heidegger's most influential ideas is the distinction he makes between the present at hand and the ready to hand. He uses this distinction to explain the different ways in which we relate to objects in the world. The present at hand refers to objects that we view purely objectively, without any subjective involvement. These objects are seen as simply existing in the world independent of any particular use or purpose. For example, we might view a rock as a purely physical object with no particular meaning or purpose beyond its physical characteristics. In contrast, the ready to hand refers to objects that we see as having a particular use or purpose in relation to our goals and intentions. These objects are integrated into our practical activities and are seen as part of a larger system of tools and equipment. For example, a hammer is seen as a tool for driving nails rather than simply as a physical object. According to Heidegger, our experience of the ready to hand is more fundamental than our experience of the present at hand. This is because we are always already engaged in practical activities and our perception of the world is shaped by our goals and intentions. We do not encounter objects as isolated entities, but rather as part of a larger practical context. Heidegger's work on ontology was groundbreaking and influential in the field of philosophy. He argued that the study of being, ontology, should not be approached as a metaphysical or abstract question, but rather as a fundamental inquiry into the nature of human existence. He believed that ontology must be rooted in the everyday experiences of human beings, and that it must take into account the historical and cultural context in which those experiences occur. 
Heidegger's ontology is characterized by its emphasis on the unique qualities of human existence and its rejection of traditional philosophical approaches that seek to establish universal truths about being. Heidegger's work on hermeneutics, which is the study of interpretation, was influential in developing a new approach to the interpretation of texts and cultural artifacts. He argued that interpretation is not a passive process of uncovering the meaning of a text, but is, instead, an active engagement with the text that involves both the reader and the text itself. He believed that interpretation is essential to understanding the nature of human existence and that it is a fundamentally creative and dynamic process. Heidegger believed that human beings should strive for authenticity in their lives. He defined authenticity as an honest and open engagement with the world around us, which involves confronting the realities of one's existence rather than seeking refuge in abstract ideas or illusions. He argued that authenticity is essential to living a meaningful life and that it requires a willingness to confront the fundamental questions of human existence. Heidegger's work on language was influential in developing a new approach to the study of language and its relationship to human existence. He argued that language is not simply a tool for communication, but is instead a fundamental aspect of human existence that shapes our experience of the world. He believed that language is the medium through which we create meaning and understanding, and that it is essential to any meaningful inquiry into the nature of human existence. Heidegger's most significant and influential contribution to philosophy was his exploration of the question of being. He argued that the question of being is not simply an abstract philosophical question, but is, instead, a fundamental inquiry into the nature of human existence. Heidegger's exploration of the question of being involved a rejection of traditional metaphysical approaches to the study of being. He argued that traditional metaphysics had failed to properly understand the nature of being and that a new approach was needed. He believed that understanding being required a fundamental rethinking of the nature of human existence and that such an understanding could not be achieved through abstract philosophical speculation. Heidegger's philosophy was deeply influenced by his personal experiences and his historical context. He was born in 1889 in Germany and lived through both World War I and World War II. Heidegger was initially attracted to the Nazi party in Germany and became a member in 1933. However, he eventually distanced himself from the party and resigned his position as rector of the University of Freiburg in 1934. Heidegger's association with the Nazi party remains controversial and his political views continue to be a topic of debate among scholars. Despite these controversies, Heidegger's philosophy continues to be a significant influence on contemporary thought. His work has had a profound impact on fields such as literary theory, psychology, and cultural studies. Heidegger's emphasis on the unique qualities of human existence and his rejection of traditional philosophical approaches have been influential in developing new ways of thinking about the nature of human experience. Additionally, his focus on language and interpretation has been influential in developing new approaches to the study of literature and cultural artifacts. In conclusion, Heidegger's life and philosophy are characterized by a deep commitment to understanding the nature of human existence. His work on ontology, hermeneutics, authenticity, language, and the question of being have had a profound impact on the field of philosophy, as well as on a wide range of intellectual and cultural fields. Despite the controversies surrounding his life and political views, Heidegger's contributions to philosophy continue to be an important part of contemporary thought. Thank you for watching this video, which I entitled, a much too quick overview of the life and ideas of Martin Heidegger structured around the issues of being in the world, Dasein, the distinction between readiness to hand and presentness at hand, ontology, hermeneutics, authenticity, language, and the question of being. This video was written, produced, and presented by me, 
Andrew Chapman.